Hello, Logan Christopher from Legendary Strength, and today I'm going to show you how to do a regular bodyweight squat. This is a pretty easy move, yet uh, many people can't do at least going to the full range of motion. They like the flexibility to really be able to get into the position. So, starting from the side, with this you usually want your legs just slightly outside shoulder width. Most people find this the most comfortable. You can go shoulder width, you can also go wider. Really experiment with that to find what works for you. But for me, just slightly outside shoulder width with the toes pointed slightly to the outside. Uh, you can have them straight forward, but it's going to be easier hip position with them just slightly to the outside. Because what you want as you do this is the knees to track the toes so they're not coming in like this as you're squatting or out, but to just come right over the toes. Then you're not going to just think of going straight down, but with this it's better to sit back. So you're keeping basically a vertical line with the shins here as you come to a full squat position. Now most people won't be able to sit in this full squat position. They may only be able to get to about parallel or something like that. That's fine if that's where you're starting with. Just work at that position and eventually you'll be able to increase your flexibility, increase your strength and stability to go with the full range of motion. So instead of just coming straight down, while this isn't going to hurt you at all, it's not a problem, you see how these shins are a lot more forward on the feet. This can be good to do if you're lacking this flexibility and want to improve it in that way. But normally with the bodyweight squat, as in weighted squats, you're going to be sitting back more so than just going straight down. Along with that, you have the back position. You want to keep the back straight for the most part. When you get to the bottom position, it's normal for your lower back to round a little. This is fine because we're doing unweighted movement. You're not likely to hurt yourself. Even with some weight, this won't be bad, like doing kettlebell front squats. But for the most part, you want a mostly straight back. And you also want to maintain a mostly upright back. What you don't want to do while squatting is just coming this far down, bending at the back in order to get in this position. This is not a squat. It's more of a good morning movement. So, you're not completely upright, but a good amount of it as you come down. So, from the front, got the starting position. You're sitting back and keeping your back mostly upright. Now, with the hands, usually I'll do this if I'm doing this for reps. I'll just use them as a sort of counterbalance at the bottom and then come back up. You can just hold them here or just hold them out if you want. A bunch of different things you can do there. That's not that important. But this covers just the basics of doing this movement and you can build your strength, flexibility, endurance along with it. For a lot more on body weight training and much more, be sure to go to legendarystrength.com and sign up for my newsletter.